Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be setting up a enclosure for a species of salamander that I've actually never seen in person before. Granted, I've never seen any species of salamander in person before, but there's a first time for everything, and that first time is going to be the northern redback salamander. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so for the enclosure itself, I'm gonna be using this little plastic critter keeper style thing. I think this is Exoterra's. Uh, this is gonna be enough for one to two salamanders, but I don't really plan on having more than one simply because they're actually territorial in the wild and I don't want them to fight or anything like that. That would be really mean. You basically wanna give them a territory that's at least 12 by eight. Uh, this tank is 12 by six, but I mean, that's like shy of two inches, so it's probably fine. So for substrate, I'm basically just going to use regular old Eco Earth. Uh, I was going to go elaborate and make an actual mix for it, but I didn't really feel it. So instead, I'm just going to be adding a little supplement to the soil that will help plants grow. Uh, this supplement is 100% safe for the amphibians, for animals in general. It's fine. You could probably drink the stuff, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, so next up, we are going to be doing the hardscape, which is pretty simple. I'm just going to be going with this piece of Malaysian driftwood that I had from Elver's tank. God rest his soul. We're also going to be adding a little bit of pillow moss that I had lying around as well. 99% uh, of everything here was just stuff I had lying around. But honestly, I feel like that's kind of part of the fun of setting up a terrarium from literally nothing. So I'm not going to fuss over that too much. Anyway, now that the hardscape is placed, we are going to add in our substrate and our moss and plants, and that'll pretty much be it for this tank. So for the final additions of this terrarium, I'm just going to be doing two plants, uh, just this pothos that I pulled out of Almond's tank that was suffering from root rot, so I decided to uh, kind of nurse it back to health and reuse it in this tank. And another species of plant that I actually recently only found out about called wood sorrel or creeping wood sorrel. Uh, this is kind of a low ground cover plant that's really common in my backyard for some reason. Apparently it's safe for reptiles and amphibians. In fact, some people feed it to their bearded dragons and stuff, but salamanders are strictly insectivores, so I'm not really too worried about that. All right, so that pretty much does it for this video. Um, I like the way the enclosure is looking right now, but I think it could use a bit more, maybe some leaf litter, maybe some wood or something, just to spruce it up a bit, because it is looking a little bland for my standards. But yeah, give the video a like and a comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.